Okay, so now let's do a little bit more in-depth modeling with polynerbs. I again start with a polycube. Uh, I want to do that in the top plane and I want to start in the center. I've enabled my snaps to grid 2 and then when I click and hold I press control um, to start from the center. And um, I'm going to model a car seat for child. So this is probably some what the correct dimensions and uh, release my mouse and I go up like so and I'm done. Right click swipe. Okay, now I want to add some more edges. So I go to the split edge loop and let's add an edge at the front. Okay, nice. Let's add one at the back, a little bit more away from the back. Um, let's add one a little bit at the bottom. And let's add one in the center. Uh, let's add one here and let's add one here. Gives me plenty of faces to work with. So um, that is okay. Check mark. And uh, still, if I unnervify, it's a very easy shape. Now let's do some editing. So to edit this shape, I can choose between working with vertices at the top or edges or faces. Let's start with changing a little bit of the vertices like uh, these two in the middle front. I do a fence select, but I need to make sure I don't accidentally select points that are lying behind. So that is probably okay. So let's move them up a little bit. So I get this bump for the legs. Um, let's do uh, the same for these two. But now what I would like to happen is everything I do on the right side also happens on the left side. Otherwise I have to do it twice. So what I do, I introduce a symmetry. In the control panel, I click symmetry in the X direction. And immediately I get a red square indicating that it is a sort of a mirrored setup now. And you see that the points that I selected are now white on the other side, uh, giving you a clue that these will um, also be edited. So I drag this down and you see that now symmetrically the, sh the shape is being changed. Now let's move these points a little bit to the front. And it's a little bit difficult. So whenever I don't have enough uh, for the arrows, I can introduce the move tool. So on the left top is the move tool. And that will allow me to move the selection with a little widget. I can drag the arrows to move in that direction. And um, I can also use the circles to rotate. Doesn't make that much sense in this case. And I can click a square to move in a certain plane. And I can also give an exact number. So uh, this is probably fine. I'm okay with this. Um, at the back. I want to do some changes, but now let's move on to the edges. Now I can start editing edges. So this edge, I want to drag down. So I introduce the move tool. I can also do that by pressing W and I move it down a little bit. So this already is very nice. I'm okay. And let's move a little bit of the points upward. Maybe move these two a little bit more inward. And now let's see what we can do by editing the faces. So I go to the third option. I just stay in the tool. And now when I move my mouse, you see that the faces become active. So let's select this 
back right face. I click it and the white counterpart will also be moved. Now I'm not going to move it, but I'm going to drag out another face. So I just drag the arrow up and it will allow me to move in all kinds of directions, but also following the red dotted line straight up. And to see a little bit better what we are doing, I can also disable the snap to the grids now. I will uncheck Nerbify. And now you see exactly what I'm doing. I'm creating extra faces. So I do it like this. Select the front face and drag it out like this. Thus creating that child seat. So for these type of operations, working with the uh, polygons is nice, but if I want to edit some more later on, I will need to, to nerbify again. But for now, let's move these a little bit inward. And let's move the whole shape a little bit to the right. And to see what we are doing, actually, let's select yes and let's nerbify. And here we go. And um, I think we can have a little bit more detail here. So I'll add an edge loop. And also this operation is mirrored to the left side. Let's unnervify un and let's move these faces a little bit back. And um, I'm done. Let's move this edge a little bit up. This one a little bit to the right. And maybe this one a little bit oop, to the back. Let's see what we are doing. Nerbify this. So now I've added edges. I have refined the shape by dragging vertices, dragging edges, dragging faces and creating new faces. I just right click and swipe and I'm done.